It's all the time, are breast augmentations permanent? And we've done a number of videos where we've talked about how they're not permanent and that they actually need to be switched out every 10 years per the FDA. And we've talked about the micro trauma, the ripples to the implant. And I thought, well, we don't ever show you an implant. So I thought we'll actually put an implant on and show it to you today. And actually, hopefully that'll make more sense to you because we still get a bunch of questions on this. Now, if you look online, you're going to come out, it's going to say that the that it's recommended changing your implant every 10 to 20 years. And this is where the implants internet fails you on implants. That's the tongue twister say. It's every 10 years by the FDA. It may say 10 to 20, but the FDA is very clear on this. It's every 10 years. Now, the implant itself, we've talked about this. It's made out of two structures. We've got this outside shell and we have the inside squishy, natural, sort of cohesive gel. The cohesive silicone is like a jello and the, the outside shell is like the jello mold that holds it all together. Now, as you move, we want some movement with this because this is natural. And as every day you move and it moves, you're going to see these little ripples that happen in the shell. And over time, that's actually little weaknesses or trauma, micro trauma to the shell, and it will break. And you say, my gosh, how long would it take that to break? Roughly about 10 years based on the study. Now with the newer cohesive gels, the implant manufacturers are saying they're actually feeling more comfortable pushing that out potentially to 20 years, but the FDA is still clear. Change after 10 because the ripples. Why not?